All right, I'm gonna do a real quick video here. I've been asked this numerous times, who do you recommend to listen to in ministry? Okay, um, I'm gonna read you a verse of scripture. That's gonna give you my answer. Acts chapter 20, verse 32. And now, brethren, I commend you to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up and to give you an inheritance among all them which are sanctified. All right. Go back to James, the book of James, <clears throat> chapter 1, verse 5. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God that giveth to all men liberally, and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. So what do you do? That, that's not a list of a preacher. Um, well, it's showing you where you're supposed to get your teaching and instruction from. Uh, it's supposed to come from God. And the word of his grace. Okay. Who do I recommend that you listen to in the ministry? Uh, the Holy Spirit. And the King James Bible. Uh, I cannot hold your hand and walk you through the life of a Christian. I will tell you right now, I have listened to many people that I thought I first started listening to them. And I mean, and later on I'm realizing, whoa, okay, this guy's a post-tribber. He's an amillennialist. He's a... Catholic, he's of this, he's of that. Uh, that's just the Christian life, brethren. You're going to have to go through. You're sharpening, you are honing your senses to, to discern between true and false. You have to do that yourself. It's all part of that relationship that you have with the Lord. You say, but how do I know? Do you lack wisdom? Ask God. Lord, please show me. Before you click on any video, other channels or this channel, any video, you ask God. You pray to God and say, God, show me the truth. This looks like an interesting video. I think I'd like to learn. I want to turn in my Bible and follow along with this guy, what this guy is saying here, this preacher, whoever you're watching. It doesn't matter if you're a woman, you're watching some other woman or whatever. I'm going to follow along. I'm going to look at the scriptures. I'm going to pray about this thing. See, I'm not going to recommend anybody. I'm not going to re recommend myself. I'm not going to recommend this ministry. It has to be that personal relationship that you are cultivating between you and the Lord Jesus Christ. He will show you truth. You know, and search the scriptures to see if those things are so. Look at it. Read it. You know, I've, I mean, I will tell you right now, God will never allow any man on this earth, any preacher, to be 100% perfect. You are never going to find one. Why? Because then he's on God's level. Okay? The Lord doesn't want that. You're going to have to sift through this whole thing. It's part of growing as a Christian. I cannot tell you, well, brother so-and-so and pastor so-and-so, they're safe to listen to. You have to figure that thing out between you and the Lord. Watch them. You see some guy, you know, just give you a little bit of advice. You click on a video. Okay, turn your Bible, uh, whatever Bible you're using, it doesn't really matter. You know, let's just, I use, personally use the NIV. Off. If they're using a new version, understand. It's not a matter of preference. It's not, oh, I prefer Elizabethan English in the King James. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, remember what we read in Acts chapter 20, you know, the word of his grace is what will build you up. This King James Bible, if you're new to the ministry here, this King James Bible is based on a completely different Greek text okay that's the Greek text right there the Textus Receptus all the other versions the new versions the NIV the ESV the NASV all the other things like this they're from that the Nestles okay they're from two different parts of the world and again look it up I'm not lying to you you know it's a big debate and all that other stuff but the whole point is new version Scratch them. Okay, they use the King James Bible. All right, there's a few things that you need to look out for. You need to look out for non-dispensational preachers. I Again, I will tell you this from years of my own experience listening to them. They are messed up and they will mess you up. No non-dispensational, you know, just somebody's non-dispensational, shut them off. Okay? And what follows with that, you're never, I've never heard of a dispensational post-tribber. Okay, that doesn't happen. I've never heard of one, and it's, you know, studied for years and years and years. All post-tribbers, 
people that believe that you go through any part of the time of Jacob's trouble, they're always non-dispensational. So, dispensational, King James Bible believing, dispensational, and then you go from there, okay? Um, people get into different things and whatever else, and what about this, what about that, you know? Um, uh, we share a lot of things here on this, at this ministry, at King James Video Ministries, where it's, you know, some personal convictions and things like that, uh, you know, things that can help you. You don't have to agree with everything. It's fine. Whatever. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not going to advise beyond that, quite frankly. Uh, I just, you know, I get to ask this question a lot. You know, please do a video, you know, who do you recommend? The book, Personal Relationship with Jesus Christ. Again, you know, it, it, there's like this thing of I have to be, the only way I can be legitimate as a preacher is if I yoke up with these different organizations here, or I have to have this, or I have to be sent out from a church or whatever else and things like that. Well, I've done that. And uh, then, you know, I find out later on that that church has got problems and corrupt and crooked and whatever else. And I try to get, fix things up and oh, it doesn't work and I have to force to leave and things. You know, I have been sent from churches, Baptist churches and things, to go do work and to preach in the pulpits and whatever else. You know, I don't need to be yoked up with other ministries and things like that and we all just kind of lock arms and we all agree together. Uh, you know, I want to be in agreement with my brothers and sisters in Christ, but there's so much heresy out there right now that you just have to say, well, you know what? It's the book. you got to go back to this book right here. So... That's who I recommend. The Lord. That personal relationship. Cultivate it with the Lord. You say, but I need to be able to go someplace to really be strengthened in things. You need to spend some time alone with the Lord. Okay? Um, I have a whole study on that. The isolated Christian and perfection. You can type that in in the search thing. Watch that. You know, look at the scriptures. Again, you know, it's not, well, because I said it, it's truth or something. Look at the scriptures. Look at the arguments. You know, so, uh, that's, that's what I'll, all I'm going to say about that. Uh, there are, there are men out there that are decent and things you'll sort through it. I mean, I've, I've kept my mouth shut with a lot of new Christians and things. And I just say somebody that reads the King James Bible and, you know, holds to dispensational teaching and things and preaches the, the true gospel and whatever. And, and they'll come back and yeah, I've watched brother so-and-so I like him pretty good but i can't stand that when he does this or i i don't like that or i don't agree with him on that but yeah i've been blessed by some of it well praise the lord good good that's the way it should be so um i've done that i've made the mistake in the past of of recommending certain ministries and then they go off and then it, now i have to come out and uh, i can't endorse them anymore or whatever else i'm just not going to endorse anybody anymore so this is my official statement saying that uh so that's going to be it. Thank you to everybody out there um, for your prayers, and thank you for watching.